Uh, please, uh, everyone, uh, please welcome Hemlock. Ooh. Hey, everyone. We are so excited to be here. We are Hemlock out of New York City. Um, and uh, thank you, Inner City, for having us. We're really excited to do some improv for you tonight. So what we need from the audience is a suggestion for a non-geographical location. So it could be something like the beach or a saloon or summer camp, but not those things, but something like that. Um, and then we'll take you there and we'll see what happens. So hmm, what did I see there? I saw a garage. So that is our location. So let's see what's going on at the garage. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, be honest with me. How much do you think people would pay for a collectible tissue box that I know for a fact Burt Reynolds has sneezed on? Burt Reynolds? Yes, Burt Reynolds. Grandma, grandma used to tell that story about how she dated Burt Reynolds for a while and yeah. like came over and sneezed on the tissue box and like she kept it all these years. Grandma so loved him. Like she talked about him all the time. You know. I mean, he was the guy, he had that big mustache, right? Yeah, the like mustache situation. But like, I'm thinking this could be like a really, really good like garage sale centerpiece. Um, yeah, so what are you gonna do? Are you gonna put on the little like sign like sneezed on by Burt Reynolds? Yeah, you yeah, yeah, Some, something like that, you know, we like, we want to kind of like zhuzh everything up a little bit so we can get some extra cash. Yeah, I think we might be able to do that. Grandma's gonna, she, she would love that. She would absolutely love that. I wish she was still here to see this happen. You know, it would just be so, I mean, she would be sitting, she'd probably be sitting there in her chair and she'd probably tell the story. You yeah, know? she would like she'd definitely be happen. telling the story, you know, like her with her, like her side being like, Oh, I remember Burt Reynolds. What Flashback a to grandma telling the story. Oh, I remember when Burt Reynolds came over to my house. He knocked on my door, you know, and he he needed a he needs someone to help jumpstart his car. He got he got stuck right outside, right outside on Main Street. Can you believe that? And while he was in my house, he asked for a tissue. Can you believe that? He asked for a tissue. And I said, of course, Burt Reynolds. I used his full name because we're not on a first name basis. I said, here's a tissue. And he took the box from me. He took the full box. He didn't just take one tissue, he took the full box. And he said, Achoo! thank you, ma'am. That's so kind of you. Cut back to the garage sale present day. <sighs> Grandma sure was a great storyteller. She really was. And, you know, it just got my imagination going. I mean, like Burt Reynolds sneeze droplets have been on that yeah. all the time. Like, we're, like I'm holding some something like that. And like, yeah. listen, I, I think that's cool. And it's great to have something like that in the house. But 
Well, I was just kind of thinking, I wonder if, um, I wonder if we should keep it and maybe like do some scientific research with it to see like, you know, the sneeze droplets, right? Like what's going on with that? It's, well, it's zoom over to another you know, there might be some vendor. Hi, excuse me. Does someone work here? Hi. Hi, how are you? Uh, th this is the strangest garage sale I've ever been to. It's in an active garage. I, you know, I, it's really strange. I mean, you guys have to move your stuff every five minutes for the cars to come through. How does that work? I mean, we just really believe in utilizing every corner of every piece of property that we have. That's the philosophy that we, we adhere to. Nothing is wasted. So, you know, like in the corner, there may be a little bit of a band practice. We rent out that space. And yeah, you know, cars come and go. Not a biggie. Not a, sorry, watch watch out. Somebody's um, oh. um the bike. Oh. Uh, okay, wow. It's okay. dangerous in here. You guys should put up some signs. So no problem, uh, what's going on? How can I help you? I love your stuff. Um, look, I, you know, like I'm a, I'm a vendor of my own. I like to sell antique goods. So I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to probably just sell your stuff for money, <laughs> but you know, I like to cut a bargain, you know, you know, you feel me. I have a shop in Williamsburg, you know? So anyway, I love your stuff. Very, um, oh, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. No, 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 no. That goes against every fiber in my being. Okay, this so, is about, hmm. Forget this I said is, anything. Th this is not about upselling. Mm. How dare you? I disagree. So uh, this little piece here, I love yeah. it. Love it. And yeah. I noticed that the price tag said 400. Now, mm -hmm. how would you feel about me knocking off a zero from there? I mean, like, look, I'm sure you got this for seal when you no. got it. I mean, you're not like losing money on this one, right? Let me tell you this. Oh, this brings back memories of when I was in the Sahara, darling. This is the canteen that I trekked across with. Oh, and I met my love in the distance and we had an amazing time there. Before oh. Right back to the Sahara Desert. Oh, so parched. Oh my God. Oh, excuse me, ma'am. Hello. Are you also parched like I am? Indeed, indeed. I... Are you real? Yeah, I'm as real as can be, mustache and all. Oh my God, you're not a mirage. Oh. No, I'm real. The name's Bert. Oh, I'm Dahlia. Nice to meet you, Bert. Hey, yeah, no, nice to meet you. I know, I, usually people recognize me right away. You know, they don't, they don't just like, act like they don't know who I am. I'm <laughs> kind of famous. Oh, are you? Yeah. I, mean, I guess I guess we all are, right? We all are the leads in our own in our own stories. I guess we all are famous. No, like I'm actually famous. No. Oh. You really have no idea who I am. No, but I would love to get to know you. Zoom back to the garage sale. Look, that's a fascinating story, but like $40 or not, because like you know, the guy over there has got some interesting stuff too. Like, just don't waste my time, you know? Well, you know what? You're you're absolutely right. I, I will go ahead and take that because it's just priceless. You're right. 400 is 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 not the right price at all. It's priceless. 400. Oh. They're selling it for 400. Thank you so much for reminding me. Oh, Can I help you? Like, I'm being helped right now. You're being very rude. This is the I'm weirdest garage sale. Ever. No. I'm just observing and listening. Oh, not a problem here. I believe in sharing the wealth of knowledge because mm -hmm. that too is priceless. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, time is money and you're wasting a lot of it. <laughs> or am I an investment in, in it? Oh, what is time? Okay, then I'm going to go over to the other vendor who's going to sell me what I want for the price that I want. Without Tag wasting. out Glow and Sammy. Bring back Katie. Did did you did you see it? Did you see the the watering can? Did you see it? I did. You said they were trying to sell it for four hundred dollars. Four hundred. 
that's yeah. actually that's actually really cheap for you know what that thing can do it just pours water right i mean yes theoretically yes. to the naked eye it just it just pours water well what it feeds okay so it feeds plants so that's that's the that's the value mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it feeds plants but um well well you're old enough now you know what you know you know what melissa you are old enough now to know the truth what your father and i have been keeping something from you about this watering can and coming to the the uh the garage sale every weekend since you were a child that's not just any watering can i okay tell me i mean i'm i can't even imagine mm -hmm. what this there, there are things in this world that you i that you it's it's not just what humans think is real you know uh, it, using water to grow plants that's real putting food in our bodies to nourish ourselves that's real but there is another layer to this existence and that watering can will take us there zoom over to the traffic jam in the garage honk honk what the what kind of idiot schedules a freaking garage sale in the middle of a freaking garage honk my god come on what's going on here i gotta go pick up my pet from the sitter come on yeah this is like this is ridiculous right i mean honestly like who who planned this thing like what this is ridiculous this this garage hey. is barely big enough for us the cars Jesus. hey you you yeah you over in the car car across from me yeah yeah you have the same issue what the what the hell is going on here like I got back, places to be. We're backed up. I mean, uh, it looks like there's a new vendor in. So, you know, we're going to be here for a while. So just to lay off the horn. I got to feed my goldfish. We have pet related things that we need to get done. Hey, man, those are your responsibilities. I got plant related things I got to get done, too. You don't see me barking about it. Ah, you said bark. That's a dog thing. So okay. technically it is pet related. Oh, fine. Hey, there's some movement. There's some movement. We get to go. Oh, oh okay. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh, I think oh. I got like a total of a foot. God oh. damn it. Sweep. just sneeze already for crying out loud don't hold back it's really bad for your health just let go come on let it out oh god no false alarm i don't need to sneeze that is so bad for your health it's, you can't hold that stuff in. I just felt something in my brain pop. Uh, uh, oh, there you go. Come on, honey. Come on. Come on. You could do it. Did you know you could save 15% more on car insurance with Geico? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. I don't have it in me. Sweet. I'm sorry. Bring back Katie. And that is how the watering can grew you into existence. Flashback to when the watering can grew Katie into existence. 
Here she is, Katie. <laughs> But back to present day. And yeah, so that's how you were born. That's how you came to be. And you are our magical, amazing daughter. So what, wait a minute. You're, what you're telling me is some shaman woman sang some song, a Hamanama song, and, you know, did some stuff in the air and then poured water out some liquid substance out of this watering can. It was water. Braided it over her head a little bit, shook it around, and then I just appeared. Yes, exactly. And you now are gifted with those same powers. It, it, it and it's not so much about you know it, the, the magic. The magic comes from the watering can, not the person. But you have to be a special person to wield the power. And you are one of the special people to wield that power. Tag out, Katie. What the heck, mom? <laughs> you mean Katie's like a magical human being? And I, I'm not she's magical. Not... I don't have magic powers. Well, well, Chris, it's not it. I love you so much. You are you are the one of the best children I could have ever asked for. But it's not so much about uh, being magic yourself, but the watering can has the magic and then the person who wields it, it takes a special person. So yes, your sister is a special person who can wield the magical can, but she, but she herself cannot just do magic. So tag it's not- out, Tag out Aaron. <laughs> hey, so that Kleenex box that you want to um, sell, mm -hmm. um, Thank you for sharing your like villain origin story. I totally get it. I see you. I, I see yeah. you. I totally see you. Um, are you still going to sell that? Or are you going to use the DNA on that to like maybe concoct a little, a little like demon? You know, through the process of the, my monologuing that I just did for you for the last 10 minutes, you have inspired me. I think... There is a real future right there for, nay, a sidekick, perhaps. Perhaps. I mean, I couldn't help it. It just, we are just a few stalls away and I was selling a can and that just, yeah. it just I felt really kismet to you. And we and I, clearly and had the similar vibes going on of like upselling based on like a really personal story. Yes. And if we just combine our personal stories and the magic of our storytelling to upsell basic products, we could be millionaires, nay, billionaires. Zoom in, Zoom in on the DNA. Hey, I'm real. I'm Burt Reynolds DNA. Don't try to pretend that I'm not real because I'm real. Do you Tag hear me? Tag out Katie. Hi, how are you? Interesting fair thing. Oh. Garage sale. Hi. Yes. Um, how much how much for that tissue box that you've got there? I've got a store in Williamsburg. I'll be honest, I'll probably just resell your stuff, but I just I just love buying interesting stuff from interesting people. Um, yeah, so how how much? Well, I mean the the price tag very clearly underneath the sticker that says has been sneezed on by Burt Reynolds. It makes it pretty expensive. I would say this, this bad boy could probably go for 800 bucks. Cool. Cool. Um, how would you feel about 80? Maybe we knock a zero off and call it a day, you know, like it's a tissue box. Like, great. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna have to give a hard pass on that one. You know what? Yeah. You, 
think this about is- that. You think about that. Um, but 80, I stand, I stand for him at 80. Sidekick. So long ago, a long time ago, in a time that was a long time from now, my grandmother met Burt Reynolds and she dated him and loved him. And then other great details that personify him and the DNA. And within that, I was able to then meet my love in the Sahara. And we had a magical moment. And in that moment, this water can came to be. Cool, and cool story. Our- How about a oh, hundred for the two? What do you think? You, you mean our storytelling isn't enticing you enough to want to spend more money? That, that's kind of our thing is our, our storytelling gives the this, upsells. This is, this, this is, this is, not, this angers my spirit. This is not, no, I'm sorry. I just, this is just too priceless. You, you, you're not, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Or perhaps you want to hear the story specifically of the tissue. You know what? I, how about ten dollars for that tissue? Just the tissue. Five? It's got to be a hundred. A hundred. Oh, Add a zero. God. You know what? You guys, are, you ladies, are wasting my time. I have a goldfish that needs to be fed. I'm gonna see myself out. Okay. Oh, I tell you, people just don't have valid, don't don't have the right values anymore. It's okay. They don't value a good story. It's, it's, it's fine, but you know, I will say, I think, I think it's time we take these, um, these gadgets into our lab in the corner and just mix a little bit of this and a little bit of that. It worked for the Powerpuff Girls. Yeah. Here, I'm going to scrape off right now with a Q-tip the actual DNA of Burt Reynolds. Maybe you can scrape oh, off some of the DNA from the watering can. Or I can just sprinkle a little water on it and make it special. All right, here. I've got the Q-tip ready right now. Okay, there we go. Put some of that water on there. All right. There we go. Just a check. Na, 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 na. Ooh. Ooh. Not My enough. goodness. Are you see- What's a human being forming out of this Q-tip? Make sure you're thinking positive thoughts. Oh. It, it, is that? That's, that's either a baby Burt Reynolds or... or... Wow. It's I, baby Burt Reynolds. <laughs> Edit, Please. bring back Aaron. I tried to get the watering can and I tried to get the tissue. I know, I know, I know we, we were going to take it to the shaman and we were going to turn it into Burt Reynolds with a magic watering can and the Burt Reynolds DNA. I just couldn't, they wouldn't sell it to me. I, I didn't have that much money on me. I didn't know what to do. I'm, f- I'm afraid that they figured it out on their own and that they've already created Burt Reynolds. If my daughter couldn't do it, If my son couldn't do it, if you, my niece couldn't do it, there's no hope for this family. But what happens if the Burt Reynolds is released into the the wild without our control? If, if, If what you were saying is correct, if they have been able to wield the power of the watering can because they have found someone who also has that power to wield the watering can and have created a baby Burt Reynolds, then l- we're done for. What do you mean we're done for? Do you think Burt Reynolds will destroy the earth? Zoom over to what would happen if baby Burt Reynolds was released into the water. Hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I kiss all the women. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> Ooh, no, I'm kissing all the women. Mwah. Mwah, you want to kiss my big mustache? Mwah. No, no, no. 
Kiss it sideways. I live. I live again. Sweet. And that's our show. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. That was super fun. That was super fun. Go. Uh, where where can people f find you? Find you all. Um, Sammy. Because <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm still on the mustache. <laughs> oh my goodness! Thank you guys so much for having us. Thank you for doing our tech. Everything you guys can find us on all the social platforms: Hemlock Improv, Facebook, and and Instagram. And we also want to give a big thank you to George Tandy Jr. for creating our music. So yes, thank you guys for having us. This was a blast. You guys oh, were so fun. No, thank you, thank you all so much. Uh, actually, it was kind of a pleasure uh, emceeing for 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 you all again because you headlined our jam several weeks ago. And a funny little behind the scenes story was that when uh, when you when you were um, headlining our show at that point, we had just decided who had made it into the festival. And after watching you. Uh, do you all perform? I was like, oh my god, I wish I could tell them right now. I, I love you guys so much. <laughs> so, uh, thank so thank you, you so much. We yeah. love being here. Thank you for having us. Yeah, so for sure. All right. All right. Uh, th th thank you all. That was so fun. That was thank so fun. You. Thank you. Have a good that night. All right. That was Hemlock. So you could actually check them out at, at Hemlock Improv on Instagram.